Yo, what's going on guys? Uh, today, what we're doing is some bullshit work. I'll be honest. For the past little while, we've been doing a lot of videos on Julio's car and how to stance it up. And I'm, I mean, if you watch our videos regularly, I can see how that can kind of get repetitive. So we're gonna switch things up today and uh, we're gonna work on my Civic. The reason why we're working on my Civic is because, uh, well, I goofed it. If you've ever had an AC compressor lock up on you, or seize up on you, um, you know the struggle I just went through yesterday. Basically, I was driving to work in the morning. I was going down Avenue Road in Toronto, and uh, I noticed lots of smoke coming out of my hood. So I pulled over, and I was like, okay, I can smell the burning. I can see the smoke, and it's coming from the AC compressor. I already knew that the problem was the AC compressor because for the past three weeks it's been making a god awful noise, and I've just been neglecting that because I'm like, eh, it's AC, it's still winter. I, I don't need to do anything. So, um, not a good idea. So, I'm driving home from work then yesterday, and uh, I am two minutes away from my house, and I get stopped at a red light, and I'm about to take off again. Yeah, how you doing? Oh, middle of the road. My ski phone cuts. Oh, buddy, I was held up up there. I'm like, this is game for sure. <laughs> yeah. 100%. Here goes the belt. Well, now you need a belt <laughs> and you need a compressor. <laughs> is she gonna live? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. This guy sees the fucking compressor. What a Pasqua! Look at this total head. <laughs> oh yeah? This is where all the journey starts, honey. Right there. Kebab. Buddy. We got this guy that doesn't know how to park over here. And he does this every time we're working on our cars. This is the line where he shouldn't be, and that's how close he gets. He's on the sidewalk. He's on the sidewalk. Okay, anyways, we got bare tools, bare new tools, and uh, somebody over here is putting it together. You know, making everything neat. Buddy, this is mint. <laughs> this is mint, bro. Bro, just put it dirty, but uh, we got some uh, yeah, we cleaning organized. going. We, we organized we it. it. It, look it, right. it, it, it looks way right. worse before. Right. It could, be, could be better, yeah. but it's alright. So, we just finished organizing in the garage. And it is mint. It is mint, bro. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that. Very nice tools. You know, this is mint. Flyer drawer. Uh, new random shit drawer. <laughs> More random tool drivers. Fuck, tool drivers. Sure. Tool drivers. <laughs> 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 Snap-ons, strap-ons, very nice. Some special tools, some SSTs, some SSTs. George filled with bare SSTs in here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh yeah. See that smile, that's the smile of a hard-working uh, <laughs> right there. Okay, so this right here is a sign of a good owner. If you ever see the battery having uh, this kind of corrosion here, this is a sign of a very good owner. <laughs> so uh, basically this customer over here, this may be part of the problem, we got this uh, nice wire here. I ripped it off because it's kind of easy to just touch and Works off. mint, it works mint it works bro. Mint. So we're gonna fix this too. Our steering pump is out. And you see we didn't have to release any of these so the food doesn't spill out, we just used uh, our little system here to just hang it off to the side and out of the way. Uh oh. What happened? The ratchet stuck in the quarter panel. Oh man. Oh shit. Man. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Yo, take a look at this, man. Take a look at this. See that right there? Team. Performance. Buddy. You can get this at www. We don't sell fucking shit. All right. 
that good. Oh my god, Gabe. Wow. Yo, my luck is just horrible today. He just wasn't meant to be a mechanic. You know? This guy's a hazard. Can you guys believe I had to deal with this <laughs> you guy? You want to know something funny? I had this dream one day that I was with Mark and his dad and they were building the Camaro. Uh -huh. And his dad goes to me while we're working on the car and he just hands me a safety vest. I'm like, why are you giving me a safety vest? He's like, you don't know what the fuck you're doing. You are a hazard to the project. <laughs> so please wear a safety vest. <laughs> like, oh God. He didn't break it. Amazing. There is hope for him yet. What a surprise. Ladies and gentlemen. What a surprise. Gabe. Yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> Gabe, finger my ass. <laughs> and it seems like we're still kind of a, a little bit tiny bit low on space here. So we're going to have to do one more special technique. Push the engine that way. Exactly. Not with your hands, <laughs> moron. <laughs> Tried. <laughs> okay, hold on. We're gonna get a crowbar. So you're using this, <clears throat> a little jack there to jack it up, and boom, you get your alternator bolt up just like that. Quick, <laughs> one step closer to the compression. Oh, the bolt's coming. Oh, it's coming. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm going to attempt to drown myself. You can try this at home. You can be just like me. You guys can be just like me. Hmm? You videotape yourself. Why are you videotaping a box? Because the box is wicked. More people want to see you. Fuck the box, people man. People want to see me. I'm brown. So? <laughs> Brown people are cool as fuck. See that? Look at that. That's my nigga right there. Oh no! Oh no! Yo, you ready? This compressor is about that time. You ready? Fuck out, bro. Man. Oh. Keep it straight. Keep it straight. There you go. Yeah. Now our next step is to K2 and out. AC delete. That's what our next step is. A K2 and AC delete. That's not our yeah, next it is. step. No. We don't need this. We're gonna figure out why <laughs> this compressor seized up and they had to cut the belt. First thing we gotta do with this compressor is figure out why um, why it seized up and stopped working because if we just throw in a new compressor, it's possible the same thing could happen again if we don't correct the problem, right? Um, so we know this thing's got oil inside of it because uh, clearly we spilled some on the floor which I cleaned up. Um, other than that, if you notice over here, if you come bring the camera over here, you notice the gap between here? <clears throat> this is the uh, clutch area. So this actually hooks up when it gets the electrical signal. And if you look over here, it's still attached and it's not disengaged. So this was consistently grabbing and Seems like we even got part of the pulley starting to come off on this side. So we definitely have some sort of mechanical issue going here. Uh, but we're gonna open up the compressor and see what else inside. If it's overfilled, if it's underfilled. Possible it just happened due to him not using it often in the winter time. A lot of people, they don't use their AC in the winter. A bunch of water and rust starts to build up here and mm -hmm. stops working properly, right? So we're just gonna check these things out. And usually, you can get it to turn. But look at that. This starts starting to turn. Look at that, but it's still dragging. Oh, I feel that. Listen, come here. I don't know if you can listen to this. Let's turn this music down for a second. Listen to this drag. You hear that little nasty drag there? Look at that. It won't even turn. It's definitely not supposed to be like that. So, let's take this apart anyway for fun. And we can look inside. If you look inside there, 
the bearings don't want to turn and they're this whole pulley is on an angle so we gotta figure out how this pulley went on an angle like that that there was definitely not too much oil because too much oil in the compressor would cause hydro lock and uh, hydro lock could be similar to this situation where the compressor wouldn't turn but then if that was the case <clears throat> well yeah we would kind of run into this situation if it was hydro lock or if it was a piston that the piston would just blow a hole in the compressor so yeah Force pliers feature a wide cushion grip for comfort and control. Damn. Strap on. We put the T in snap. snap. There's no T in snap. I know. It would be strap on. <laughs> this up and uh, we're fucked and we're just gonna get a compressor and call it a day and I'm hungry so let's call it a day because it's fucked because it's fucked I mean it's clearly not spinning we clearly have no oil in there clearly the clutch is fucked there's lots of things going on here we're gonna throw in a new compressor and see what happens so that's it for today uh, we got the compressor out that's all we wanted to do so now me and Daniel over there. Get to get some dinner and uh, we'll continue this tomorrow. McDicks. McDicks. McDougals. Or uh, maybe some Portuguese food. I don't know. Subru Nation. Subru Nation. Day two and it's raining. And that sucks. Look at this chooch. Doesn't even know how to reverse a car. Oh no. I think he's giving up. <laughs> he's like, fuck this. I just farted. All right, guys, so we're back. We got our brand new compressor here. Well, no, okay. It's not brand new. Uh, we got the old one here. And uh, the new used one didn't come with the connector. So we're gonna take that connector off, put it on to here, which we have the special tool to do so. Right now I'm just removing these hoses because when they remove it from the old car, they don't really give a shit and they just cut everything off. And then uh, we're gonna install everything back in. Hopefully have it running today. I have to leave in an hour. And then um, if not, we get it done Sunday, but it stopped raining and the sun's out. So that's cool. I, I didn't even get that on video, man. I missed that completely. Did you get it, the cut? Like, barely. You want me to cut it again? It, it, it would look like something like this. Oh! Oh my god, it is! So we're looking at the old one to see if there's any sort of a uh, lock on these pins here. Sometimes they have like a little flap and it needs to be pushed down so it can come out, right? So we're just really taking a good look at it. And you see that? Just like that. Not and the it's old out. one out. Nice. No, it will not lock. But <clears throat> on the plus side, we could just um, add a little bit of a um, 90 second glue there and hook you know in that'll the work. pin that'll work, and though. it'll work. You know? So we can do something like that. The only glue I could find was this. <laughs> School glue. <laughs> really? <laughs> We're gonna fucking use school glue. Hey, listen, it's a um, washable, non-toxic, you know, school glue. Um, I don't give a fuck. That's not gonna work. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Has been specially developed for use in children's projects. This is not a child's project, bro. It's pretty childish. You know what? We're not yeah, gonna use it. Yeah, it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> See, this one spins now, unlike our other one. 
know? What do you know about clutches, dog? Am I gonna get this first try? Hold I on. don't think Let so. Let me do a pan like Gabe does. Watch this sick camera pan. Buddy. <laughs> what? Buddy, it's a camera pan. Oh, Mr. Robin. Buddy, are we putting an AC compressor in or what? Buddy, we are. Buddy, are the neighbors looking at us or what? Buddy, are they ever. <laughs> Buddy, I'm gonna need a 12 with the ratchet. Well, buddy, he's gonna need a 12. Should I go get it? Buddy, you should get it. Check this pose out. Check this game, the old pose. Uh, okay, okay, we're going this way. Okay, which way? Okay, look at that. He's doing oh. leg ups. Buddy. All right. And when you don't have that much time, you gotta get your Pilates in while yeah, you're doing your cardio stuff. That's why he's got that ass. See that ass? We're gonna we're gonna take a close up here and focus See, on it. This is why people think we're gay. Why do people think we're gay? Because you're videotaping my ass. They only think you're gay. Hey, there's a cop over there. We take a picture of the cop. By the way, there's like a good five minutes of your ass in the video. For the record, that, that ass right I'm there. I'm not gay. Just For the saying. record, he's really gay. Just saying. He suffers from a condition where he only likes men. What's that called? Being gay. Oh. <laughs> Thought you were gonna say something a little more creative. Okay, hold on. Let me think. Give me, give me, give me a couple minutes here. Like, think of like. He suffers from um, man sexualness. <laughs> it's when you only want man. <laughs> <laughs> Man's. Man's sexualness. He suffers from gay man's itis. Gay man itis. To say it fast though, gay man itis. You know. <laughs> man itis. I'm still waiting for that 14. For all the hot women out there, he is not gay at all. I'm single too. Oh, look at that, eh? He's advertising himself. Tell us a bit about yourself. Uh, I like long walks to cool, the- Cool, uh, I forgot. I always thought he was going to say long dick. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, if you need a plumber, well, he's got the pipe. <laughs> I can lay, I've been laying pipes since 88. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Woo. Laying pipe. All right, guys. So I gotta leave. We're calling it for now. We're gonna continue tomorrow. Um, we're doing this on my iPhone because the memory card got full. So he's still here, of course. Um, alternator back in. AC back in. Can you see? Engine mounts back on. We're gonna put the new belts that we got on. Tomorrow, we got these nice continental things, and then uh, yeah, so we'll do that tomorrow. It's day three. You might be asking yourself, why does it take three days to change an AC compressor? I don't know, but uh, it's Easter, so that's kind of why. Right now, I'm just at Timmy's, getting the Timmy's run for this morning, and uh, we're gonna finish it up. So yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Um, okay, so we're back at the shop. <clears throat> Spent all night painting my house. Now I'm stuck doing this shit. Tim Hortons coffee, you know. Thank you. Oh, wait, guys, you know, I, I did my beard. See that shit? Oh, if, you guys, shit. if you guys like the beard, comment below. <laughs> and if you don't comment, beard is weird, and tag a picture of the beard that you want me to have. All right, and I'm gonna try to grow a beard that you guys post. You kind of look like I don't know. When I was watching the videos yesterday. You kind of look like somebody, yeah. like a I don't know. You got this thing going on. It's kind of like thing, a yeah. I don't know. It's different. Well, well, let's find out what what the viewers think. You know? Okay. If you they, like it, comment. Beard is weird, and then you you'll know. Picture a beard know. that I should have. You know, I'm gonna try to grow it. So, 
when you're replacing your belts, uh, this car runs off of two belts, some run off of three. Um, so in our case, we have two. So the first belts that we're gonna be putting on, just because of the position that the crank pulleys are positioned, is the AC and alternator. So if you look over here, you see that on the main pulley from the crank, it's thicker. So that would mean that the AC and alternator would run off of the thicker belt. And then the power steering pump, the pulley is thinner, so you would use the thinner belt. So now I'll show you how to install it. It's actually quite simple. So first, what you're gonna do is you're gonna loosen the alternator, get the belt, make sure it's in good condition. And that's how you install that's it. the belt. Okay, so belt's on. So now, like I fucked up before, you wanna lift the alternator. Now obviously sometimes it's gonna be really hard to do that, so probably gonna need a um, second hand or a pry bar. So we got the alternator in. Um, it took both of us, so that's why we didn't videotape it. But uh, basically, we pried it from right about there. And then, I pried it, I pried it over there. And then, uh, we use this guy over here. We use that to tighten the actual adjuster bolt. Tensioner butterfly bolt thingy. And then it works. You guys wanna know something? Here's a quick fact. Uh, I think you'll put the camera on me. Um, shit. Now that I'm putting these belts on, the first time that I ever put a drive belt on a car was uh, it was with Daniel when I used to be uh, a co-op student at Toyota, and uh, that was five years ago. Ever since then, me and him have been boys, and look where we are now, AKA working on cars together. Me, aka that's that's Mr. Daniel right there. One hell of a drug. Okay, we got continuity here. Okay. Let's start it. Let's see if it works. Good. All right, man. Fixed it. It's a we job well done. Civic Nation. Civic Nation. Thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up. Thumbs up, man. We did a good thumbs job. Thumbs up, legs up. I'm gonna do this every time I finish doing a car. Thumbs okay. up, man. As long as it's not on our Subies. I'll do it anyway. <laughs> as long as it's not on my Subie. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's it. Civic is fixed. I am currently driving it home behind Daniel. He is in my Subaru. Get to take my cars home. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. My car is finally fixed. It's been a long time coming. And it's nice. Oh wow, there goes GTR. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching guys.